Reactors. I'm Abrielle. I'm Mario. I'm Claudia. And I'm Sandy. Okay, so today is my day. Um, we're going to do a song that um, I really, really like. So the original song um, came out and I actually, when there was a lot of turmoil in um, the U.S., I actually got a tattoo because of the song. And um, so it means a lot to me, like the lyrics and what it really like stands for. And then they came out with a remix. And so unfortunately, um, one the, the main person of the song, his name is Lefty. It's not his real like legal name, but it's mm -hmm. like he's, he does rap, so that's his, name. his rap name. Yeah. And so he was um, unalived. Oh. Oh, wow. What? Yeah. In front of his oh, family. Actually, it's really terrible. Terrible. Oh, wow. In front of his two girls and his wife. Oh. Um, really bad. That's but... I know, it was really, really sad because he was, um, his wife came out later and said that he was actually really, really excited about this song. He had come out and he had just done the remix and um, it had come out and then um, that happened. Mm -hmm. So it was really, really sad. So is this sad. is actually his last song that came out while he was alive. So, but I really like it. And the good thing is the lyrics actually translate. So if there's anything that's wrong, I'll let you know. But kind of give you like a little gist. So, oh, and to the artists in it. So I'm obsessed with Santa Fe Clan and Seca and I went and saw them in concert. I know you guys remember because I wouldn't yeah, shut up yeah. about it. But, <laughs> I don't even remember. <laughs> but it has other really famous artists too. So Lefty, who I just talked about, Santa Fe Clan. It has Darius, um, Seca, who I just talked about, um, MC Dado and Neto Peña. So a little bit. And they all have like their own little like Intro in it, yeah, their own little moments in it. The original song was obviously shorter, but because um, any remix that um, comes out with like us, it's typically going to be longer. We're talking about like five, six minutes. But I'm really excited. I really okay. love this song. I'm actually tatted because of this song. So let's, let's go. go. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, and just as like a reference, those are all fans. Like they're all there. They were like recorded with them, and they're all oh, really excited. That's and so cool. it was a behind the that's scenes, I know. So that's cool. nice. And this is like our anthem. Like the 49ers came out to this song too. Like when they were coming out into okay. the field. So it's a really good. Song. Anyway, very cool. You can tell I really love this song. <laughs> <laughs> So puerco is like pig. It's oh, cop. Okay. So it's like mm -hmm. our slang too. So we use kind of the same slang. Um, so when you see that, that's going to be like a cop. Mm -hmm. When he like mentions it. So kind of like pay attention to what he says about that too. Yes, <laughs> 
and like the the corruption they have and like um they don't want them to like obviously like mm -hmm. interfere with them and if you read some of the lyrics about them wanting to like silence them and stuff yeah. so he yeah. talks a lot about that and they're all like he's like grew up he didn't grow up like rich he grew up in the streets and that's what he like talks about and so you're right he does have like really good bars but he ha like speaks from his experience which i really like Mexicano es mi bandera, yo la levanto por donde quiera, verde, blanco, rojo hasta que muera, el gallo prendido ya quemó afuera. Soy mexicano, esa es mi bandera, yo la levanto por donde quiera, verde, blanco, rojo hasta que muera, el gallo prendido ya quemó afuera. Ya, abrace cabrón, eche que mexicano partiendo sin necesidad de palanca, nos jugamos en la misma cabrón. Ya está en la vida. So do you see what he did there? Yo tuve, which means um like I got I got but he didn't in yo tuve. So mm -hmm. he he got he got the opportunity to become famous off of YouTube, but the way that he's able to like put it together, he's so like all of them are really good about doing that. Sorry, they all have a different voice, <coughs> but they ha there's like like weight to their voice. Yeah, in each one of them. You, each one of them are like really good about them. They're all different, but they're all like really good at putting the beats in together. And I like the way that he started it too. He says if his beat ever stops um, beating, um, to just take care of like you're saying, you know, to oh. take care of his, so to take care mm -hmm. of me and mine. So he's he started it with that. So I really like the way he starts it out because mm -hmm. it's all about like just being like Mexican, being proud and and having that, and it's. Like who oh, we are to our core, so yeah, I really like that. So we have a totally different culture than other people. We have a different way of doing things, and family, as you can see, even we rap about mm -hmm. it. Family is a huge thing for us. So just yeah. being proud about being who we are. So it's three colors on your chest, they would die for their nation. So that's what I really like because it, it was kind of like really ironic because I got tatted from the original song and then they put it into the second song and I actually did get tatted and it is the three colors. So it's actually right here, five and a half hours. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. I really liked it. And Sekan is absolutely by far one of my favorite rappers. So I really, really like him. He looks so different in person and Santa Fe looks exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I would, pick him out anywhere but when I saw Sekan in person I was like oh, that's him 
It looks so different, but he also changes it. So, Matalipas, um, I'm from Matamoros, Amolipas. So, he's been saying about like all the way up to the north because I'm Norteña, but it's like he puts it like together. Puebluca isn't like actually so. And San Luis Potosí, he puts Potoyes. So, the way that he's able to like put it in all really well like he the the, yeah he matches yeah. the syllables and he's able to like put it in but you still know what he's talking about mm. so he's he's mentioning all these places in mexico Like they all have their their own endings and Lefty had one specifically too where you always just knew that it was him and once we get into him more I'll tell you a little bit more about like his ending and why he has it and it's actually really like really nice. I really wanted to like show you guys it really means like um, a lot more I than mean it has a lot of meaning to it yeah, yeah. A yeah. Ton and, of meaning. and the way it's it's an easy the way it sounds it's like a really good anthem to, like, yeah oh it yeah. really yeah. is like this is like our anthem like there are plenty of times where like people can just put it on mm -hmm. and like the entire crowd like sings like everybody mm -hmm. knows this song it was really popular and um, Lefty was apparently like, so excited to like have this song come out and like have the remix and have like everybody on there and it was just it was just some releasing and um his wife was talking about that too because um the remixes usually happen too because you had like really good success with the first one and yeah, this specific yeah. version too is one that like 49ers came out to and everything and they're really like gaining a lot of popularity here even in the u.s and um it was really sad because I'm gonna show you guys more of like lefty things because I truly actually listen to it and really really like it. But you're gonna hear in some of his songs and um, he's just really really good. It's just he has like, a lot of meaning in his lyrics. Like yeah. you, there's substance to his lyrics and mm -hmm. there's obviously a story and there's well, a lot has, of yeah. effort and thought mm -hmm. and just emotion put into it. Yeah, he does, there's and that's it's all about like just like it. us and like yeah. in barrio and like um, just speaking into that because like even <laughs> Sekan was like it's a good way to also educate want, like, people who don't know this through music. A great way to do it is through their music and they talk a lot about that they talk a lot about their their lives growing up when you know they didn't have money and where they didn't have stuff and um like Santa Fe like for example he's like really charitable to like where he's from and he's always giving yeah. money they all like are mm -hmm. able to still be and he says in the song to still be humble mm -hmm. and like that's yeah. what's really most important even when you have this fame is to know where you come from and stand behind that and that's kind of what that is to me is because to me at the end of the day no matter what you do i will always be mexican and that i always carry with me it's part of my culture it's who i am and it's just staying true to that